got myself an old computer and I figured I'd fix it up and I started to run into a lot of problems like for example where do you find a floppy drive in this day and age or floppy disk rather where do you find a CD-ROM they're, they're basic things you used to be able to go down to CompUSA and pick up uh, off the shelf but they just simply don't exist anymore and so I figured you know what in perusing the internet for these solutions I figured, yeah, hey, I'll uh, post some videos uh, as I uh, find the solutions and hopefully help uh, grow the community and encourage others to get involved in restoring these old things because the fact is that every day at eWastes all across America, more and more of these things are being destroyed. And there is a finite number of them. They just aren't being made anymore. And so today I'm going to show you how to copy something from a flash drive to this old computer. But this didn't exist in 1998. How do I do that? Well, let me show you. All right, so first step, you go to your boring modern computer and you go to this website. I've got it linked in the description of this video. You download the file nusb36e.exe. This gentleman that hosts this site has been kind enough to upload it. I don't know who he is, but I thank him for doing that. And what you do with that file is you put it on a CD. You can, if you don't have a CD burner, just go on Amazon and buy one. They make these external ones. That's where I got it for fairly cheap. And I burned a CD with this file on it. Alternatively, if you have the ability to put it on a floppy disk, it's under a megabyte. So uh, I'm going to put it on a CD and I will bring it to the old computer, which is step two. So on step two, what you want to do is go ahead and copy this NUSB36E file from that recently burned CD to your desktop on the Windows 98 machine. So it's very important that you put it on the desktop because in a few seconds in step three, you're going to lose your mouse. So go ahead and open up the device manager. And then uh, what you want to do is you go to the USB hardware here and you click on it and you delete it delete it all and what do you know the mouse is not working so how do you navigate without a mouse you press tab space you do alt f4 to close windows tab space and arrows and enter that will navigate you in windows 98 without a mouse so go ahead and click enter on that file and it will go through the installation of those drivers. Now go ahead and press tab, spacebar, go to shut down, and restart your computer. There it is, Windows 98, navigation without a mouse. It will restart. All right, once your computer's restarted, it'll go through some prompts of installing the new detected USB mouse and the hardware that you just loaded up. It'll go through a few things. Press enter, automatically find it. It might prompt you for the Windows 98 CD-ROM. And there it is. I've got my mouse back. Okay, so then what we do is go ahead and take your flash drive, plug it in in the back. The USB ports did start to appear in the late 90s. No matter which side you plug it in, it's always backwards the first time, the second time, and works the third time. That's the trick <laughs> for plugging a USB in. So, once you plug it in, it may prompt you if it's a new one. There it is. Woohoo! Not every flash drive will work on these old machines just be aware of that so we'll go ahead and copy over doom in honor of the 30th anniversary this year of that game and look at that it's copying from a flash drive in windows 98 a lot easier than a cd-rom that's for sure or a million floppy drives and uh, there you have it all right i hope this video was helpful and if you like it go ahead and uh, click subscribe and uh, what do you know maybe i'll post another video all right thank you very much